The five-day meeting for a nationwide ceasefire agreement kicked off Tuesday at Myanmar Sikh Peace Center on Tuesday. High-ranking officials, leaders of the Union Peace Working Committee (UPWC) and Nationwide Ceasefire Coordination Team (NCCT) met with the media to publicize about the results of the meeting. Joseph Jossington reports. The planned peace process includes armed conflicts reduction, signing nationwide ceasefire agreement (NC), and holding political dialogues to gain eternal peace. Among them, the topic they discussed on day one was. And conflicts reduction. Based on the previous and current armed conflicts, without criticizing each other, we discussed on how we managed not to commit the same mistakes again. We mainly intended to build confidence. If both sides found agreement this time, we'd be able to start the political dialogue before the election. But when it will be signed depends on how both sides can negotiate. UPWC confirmed that. It would like to sign an NCA with 16 ethnic armed groups, which have signed an initial peace deal, and continue holding political dialogue with all of the armed groups. We would like to sign an NCA by the end of April and start political dialogue before the election. Both sides have also agreed to start the framework meeting within 60 days and to hold the political dialogue within 90 days after signing the NCA. Both parties also accepted that there are still armed conflicts happening in ethnic regions, and they are also trying to reduce them by holding the meeting of this kind every once in a while and signing the NCA as soon as possible. If we can keep up the way we understood each other today, the momentum we discussed today, and the way we found negotiation today, there has no reason we can't achieve the NCA. Like the president once said, the armed conflicts can be solved in the battlefield, but only at the table. What we ethnics claimed for 60 years was to solve the political problems by political ways or by holding political dialogues. Now it's getting nearer. The NCCT also confirmed that they had very productive and fruitful meetings with the president. The commander in chief of defense services in Nepidor previously. The meeting was also joined by the observers from UN and China, like in the previous meetings. Joseph Chao Sanchong for MITV, Myanmar International Television.